What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Last Christmas by Wham. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And the guitar that we're jamming on today is the Orangewood Morgan Mahogany in their new natural burst finish. Orangewood is this month's channel sponsor. They're having their best sales of the year from now through the rest of the holiday season. So if you're looking for a new guitar for you or a loved one, check out the link in the description below to shop Orangewood's best sales of the year. First thing that you want to know to play Last Christmas on guitar is that in order to keep the song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to second frets. The next thing we do is to go over for a song is a structure, but for last Christmas, we're just going to repeat the same chord progression and the same strum pattern through the entire song. So you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into last Christmas is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is C. The next one is A minor. The next one is D minor. And the last one is G. And I'll short chord tutorials for all those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, let's dive into Last Christmas. Last Christmas is a classic Christmas song and it's super beginner friendly to play. We just have one chord progression, one strum pattern repeated through the whole song. The chord progression is going to be those four chords I just showed you in order. So C, A minor, D minor, and G repeated through the whole song start to finish. And what I thought fit really well for strum pattern for this song was just four sets of four down strums repeated through the whole song. So kind of what that actually looks like is about like this. We'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then switch for each chord. So nothing too crazy there. It's a pretty straightforward chord progression and strum pattern, but a little walkthrough guided through that will look about like this. Starting again with our C chord here, we've got one, two, three, four, 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 Just about like that, repeated through the whole entire song start to finish. You can definitely switch up that strum pattern a little bit if you'd like to, but I thought that fit really well and matched up with that keyboard being played as well as the drums in the song, as this is mostly a keyboard and drums driven song. There's not really a whole lot of guitar in it. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through that chord progression and strum pattern that'll repeat all the way through Last Christmas will look about like this without me talking. Guys, that's everything that you need to know to play last Christmas on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to them. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 950 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least two to three new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram and TikTok at the Groovy Guitar Dude if you want to see other cool guitar related content or just run up to them in videos. And one more big shout out to Orangewood. Thank you all so much for being this month's channel sponsor. Again, if you're looking for a new guitar for your Yourself or for a loved one this holiday season, check out that link in the description below to shop Orangewood's best sales of the year. Guys, last Christmas is another timeless Christmas song that I'm stoked to finally teach to you guys. Again, super beginner friendly, one chord progression, one strum pattern through the whole entire song. I had a lot of fun learning this one. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.